Good afternoon to you all and trust you well, blessed and strong in the Lord. In preparation for breaking of bread this afternoon, tonight, whenever you plan to do it, I just have a thought which I'd like to share with you. Just a reminder of again of who we are in Christ and, and how it came about um, that I would be counted a son uh, of the living God. And let me just take you back to Luke 23. And read two chapters of two verses for you. Uh, Pilate, um, then responding to the Jews, says, You have brought this man unto me as one that perverteth the people, and behold, I have examined him before you, and found no fault in this man touching those things whereof you accuse him. No, nor yet Herod, for I sent you to him, and lo, nothing worthy of death is done unto him. That, that then... Uh, really just confirms the the scripture from 1 Peter 1 verse 19 redeemed by the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot the requirement of the law was that the lamb needed to have been spotless without blemish and without spot and so in the court under Roman law yeah this man was found to be innocent uh, and both Pilate and Herod came to the same conclusion and found him to be innocent and spotless as it were, um, fulfilling, fulfilling the requirements of the law. Um, <clears throat> the custom was the releasing of a prisoner, and so Pilate made the offer for the Lord Jesus Christ to be released, but they shouted, Crucify him! Crucify him! In his stead, they rather wanted a man who was, had been found guilty of insurrection and murder, was in jail, on death row, waiting for his sentence to be passed. But instead, the Jews wanted him to be released into their midst. And isn't that just a picture of how, how people in this world uh, desire rather the things which are unclean and defiled uh, to be released into their hearts and lives, as it were. Uh, they accommodate those things. Uh, but they would with great difficulty accommodate the Prince of Peace, our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And so I just thank him for, for, for the opportunity I have, as you do as well tonight, to break bread in remembrance of what has been done. Uh, and that you can come with confidence, knowing that, that your sins have been paid. And so Jesus Christ was crucified and Barabbas was made free. Uh, I wonder if Barabbas found any, any desire in his heart to meet up with the Lord Jesus afterwards, uh, to go to him and to, to, to show gratitude and express um, some kind of appreciation for what had been done and that he had been uh, made free. Uh, and, and so, you know, just again tonight as you prepare your heart, as you come and, and break bread, may it be with, with gratitude with great gratitude and appreciation, thankfulness, filled with love for Jesus, um, the Nazarene. Uh, wonderful, wonderful Savior. Thank you for taking my sins upon, upon yourself, nailing them to the cross once and for all, that I may, may stand as a child of God uh, this afternoon, knowing the forgiveness and the peace of my Savior. There were two malefactors on either side of the Lord Jesus Christ. One condemned him and mocked him. The other one um, uh, had a soft heart towards that man, uh, uh, towards the Lord Jesus Christ. In fact, he, uh, almost a, a repentance, an acknowledging of his faults, a desire to seek forgiveness and to be reconciled. As he said to the Lord Jesus, remember me when you get to paradise. And that is exactly what happened. The Lord said, I, I will uh, uh, see you in paradise. Um, and, and you know, the choices we always have are those of rejection or mockery or appreciation. And if your faith is being tried, if the circumstances around you are, are forcing you to question, uh, may it be not in mockery but in appreciation and love um, of what the Lord Jesus has done for us. You see, his plan 
uh, hasn't hasn't been fulfilled. There is much to come. There is this lively hope which is referred to in the scriptures, um, and we look uh, to to Jesus. Uh, we look up for our soul, our redemption draweth near. Uh, Brother Rene, this morning's message spoke about uh, entering boldly uh, with with the, with with this assurance and confidence in our hearts that we've been made free, that we've been redeemed. We can come with boldness. Uh, boldness, in other words, is uh, not afraid, um, confident to enter in. Not in on my own works, which will condemn me, but all that has been cut off, and I have been made free to come in with confidence and boldly approach His throne of grace. Um, doesn't matter what your difficulty is. Doesn't matter what your circumstances is. Doesn't matter what people think of you. It is important to know what God the Father thinks of you, uh, and and He thinks highly of you. Uh, he loves you. He cares for you. He will never forsake you nor leave you. Uh, it is His desire that you should inherit the kingdom of God. And Jesus has gone to prepare a place for you, uh, that He may come and fetch us again. So have that assurance and that confidence in your heart today. Uh, as you break bread, just giving thanks. Um, express your love and appreciation uh, to that which the Lord Jesus has done for us. Thanks, Father, for, for that great plan of salvation, the love that drew salvation's plan. Thank you, Father, this, this afternoon that I can just pray for each and every brother and sister. Thank you for the, the opportunities we have to receive your word uh, and, and even as we break bread, that it may be, Lord, a fresh and a, and a beautiful experience. In the name of Jesus, amen. Be blessed and encouraged. Lord bless.